Hi, it's Rob the Frugalist, and today we're looking at how to fix just about anything with this stuff. This is called Polymorph. These are little uh, thermo softening balls, thermoplastic, I think it's called, and you can pretty much get them anywhere. They're really quite cheap. And um, while I won't be showing you how to fix anything, I'll be showing you how I pretty much used it to fix a, a random thing. In fact, today I was cleaning the bathroom and uh, the the shower rail snapped. There's a bit of plastic coated in chrome and it just got old, tired and, and broke in half and uh, left me with a bit of a problem. So uh, this is just to show how I use that in that particular situation. You can use this stuff pretty much in anything, any way. It's, it's almost like you can, not like a 3D printer, but you can pretty much use it according to your imagination to fill in any holes, gaps, uh, stick things together which would otherwise be ungluable. So uh, I hope you enjoy this and uh, get some ideas from it. Uh, do recommend having this just laying around your house. This is really, really useful thing. I may put a link in the um, description of how, where to get it from as well if you're interested. Incidentally, Polymorph is my favourite Red Dwarf episode. So this happened, uh, broke, snapped off. There's a little bit of plastic in there that's broken. Chrome covered plastic, it's so annoying. Um, and essentially we're not gonna be able to have a shower until we buy a new riser rail, unless we manage to do a little bit of a fix. So this is a quick fix attempt on, um, on this. Now, the plan is I've got some plastic downstairs which is thermo softening, which means you can, it's a little bunch of little balls called uh, polymorph and you put boiling water on it and it becomes pliable. You can squeeze it together pretty much like blue type plasticine type stuff and uh, mold it into place and it should stick. So the idea is if you look here, uh, there's a little bit of a gap there, a bit of a hole there, that's where it's broken. And I'm gonna just pack that with some of this polymorph stuff, squish it together and hope for the best. The kettle has boiled, not because I'm making a cup of tea, but because I'm gonna try this fix with something called uh, polymorph. It's a thermo softening plastic. All you need to do is add boiling water to it. I've used this stuff before, so this is what it looks like when it's uh, been used and it's reusable. So this, I put into this cup here, add some boiling water to it. And I may well add that in as well. If you look inside here, you'll see that it begins to go translucent, transparent, which means it's pliable. And you can put this pretty much into any gap that needs filling. It's really good for just handy ad hoc fixes uh, of stuff. So I'm just gonna leave that in there for a couple of minutes. And when that melts or gets into kind of a bill up plasticine, a real moldable shape, I'll be able to go and put it into the shower rail, which is broken. Loosened this bit here. So now that can move into position. We can fill this gap here with the uh, melted plastic and stick it in and then screw it in place. And that way it should be nice and firm for a few showers yet. Right, just waiting for this to go off. This is the stuff I've used before because, well, if it's used before, we can use it again. And you can see at the edges, it's beginning to go transparent, which means it's ready to go and to be molded. I'm hesitant to put my fingers in there because it's boiling water still, so I might just fish it out in a minute. Um, you've got a couple of minutes working time with it, and then it's got to be done right. Uh, so I'm going to grab, ouch, ouch, it's hot, 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 hot. Right, so here, here we go, I've grabbed a bit out and you can see it's quite moldable. So I'm going to go and try and take that right now and stick it into the place. That's got to be left for about 10 minutes before you can put any pressure on it. And uh, while we're waiting, here is a picture of this stuff which when it cools it kind of goes opaque it's incredibly moldable it's lovely to play with moment of truth 
I cannot, I can have some more showers, basically. It's fine. Will it last forever? Well, it's given me some time to get a new riser rail, but actually I think it's, it'll hold for a bit longer yet. So there you go, uh, another day in the journey of fixing random stuff that happens when you don't want it to. So I was just cleaning this bathroom here and it just broke in my hand. So it's cheap plastic with a bit of chrome on top. You know, it looks chrome when you buy it. Turns out not so good. So be, probably there's a lesson there as well. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe for more of this stuff. Thanks very much. Have a fantastic day.